Hello friends, welcome back. Here I am with today's topic of class 12, The Lost Spring. It's uh, written by Anis Jung. She is uh, usually a uh, volunteer who works for the upliftment of children in the down and downtrodden. Uh, in this week's chapter, it describes the pitiable condition of poor children who have been forced to miss the joy of childhood due to socio-economic condition that prevails in this man-made world. Look, we always witness a kind of a child labor every time we move out of our home definitely it may be for a part time or it may be a full time job definitely why people prefer the child labor these these children to work on the dirty stalls or we can say shops because they are less paid and the work is done by them so <coughs> sorry this this chapter it denotes a condition of poor people who are being forced into labor though they want to work and de their desires are different they want to uh, they want to just enjoy schooling the children want to enjoy schooling but at the time when they should be in the school they are doing different kind of jobs into the world this man made world because we always think of socio economic uh, part rather than thinking about the welfare of the humanity the children are denied the opportunity of schooling and forced into labor early in life as we see that a lot of people around the world are just thrown into labor labor this the children they are thrown into labor they go through child labor they face these uh, harsh realities of humanity harsh reality of reality of uh, we can say we humans and uh, they 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 are not able to go to school they are not able to enjoy their life they uh, they enjoy their childhood as well so they are forced into it by we people Ani Jung gives voice to eliminate child labor by educating the children and to enforce the laws against it by the government strictly. Ani Jung, a woman who just want to eliminate this child labor from the society, she want to work for it. She want us to work for it, and she says that government should strictly follow the laws which are being made by it because we can see if if government will fully. prohibit child labor if government will fully enroll or we can say come to the front or we people will come to the front there will be no child labor in the whole world uh, the our government it has made mandatory 14 up to 14 years of uh, age education is mandatory for a child but we are still watching people we are still watching children little children up to the age of 10 who are going for labor who are child chi who are enforced into this very child labor calamity which 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 is just a kind of a blot on our society the call is to end child exploitation and let the children enjoy the days of spring and bring joy under their feet as this very chapter the lost spring because they have lost the essence of their childhood the children have lost that essence so this writer she wants to say us that we need to just abolish these kind of things and let them enjoy this spring let them let them enjoy this blooming let them bloom in a very favorable condition So there are two parts of the chapter it's it's divided into two parts first is sometimes i found a rupee in the garbage it's about a family uh, who was there in dhaka and it's about rag pickers rag pickers means who collect the uh, we can say dirt or we can say collect the polythenes bottles and these kind of things from Uh, the dustbins or leftovers of uh, ourselves from the dustbins and just earn their livelihood so these people they come, they came this family has uh, come from dhaka bangladesh whose fields and uh, homes were just uh, destroyed by the storm and they came here for the livelihood so they have children as well so these children they are in a pathetic condition they ha they go for rag picking they pick rag from uh, from near the house of our narrator as well so Uh, it is said that garbage for the elder or we can say adult one is means of survival but for children it is something wrapped in uh, in, in wonder likewise they they just fascin get fascinated by just picking these uh, rags so these people desires and their ambitions are big but they don't know how to achieve these ambitions or desires they want to earn something in their life they want to earn that respect they want to earn that that they, these children want to go to school but they don't have those facilities second part i want to drive a car is about uh, mukesh uh, um, he is a character so uh, he lives in farozabad where there is the largest bangle 
uh, this uh, makers, uh, this uh, the, the industries or we can say factories. So he lives over there, and the second part deals with that Bengal making uh, business. And about twenty thousand children are engaged in this very business in this very uh, in these factories. And the law that forbids child labor is not known there. Though in in these here in these very uh, areas, it's not known to them. N nearly twenty thousand people, uh, children, they work over there. Uh, these in the the life in these dinghy cells where they work, or we can say near the furnaces where it's very hot. It almost blinds the child up to adulthood. So it's our concern that we should go against it and we should just work for it because you we the students are the future of this this society and if you will take a step that we will abolish child labor you will not let any child to work in your surrounding that definitely there will be a change in the world you have to start it from uh, your own home as it said that charity begins at home you have started from your home that you don't you won't have to you know, let any child suffer this kind of a problem so the politicians, middlemen or policemen or bureaucrats, these kind of, they, they are obstructs in the way of the progress of these people because they, they, they just work for their money. They just, some of the policemen who are dishonest or we can say corrupt or corrupt bureaucrats and middlemen or corrupt politicians who just take money from these uh, business uh, establishments and they don't care about the welfare of their children. I, I'm not saying that each and every bureaucrat, each and every policeman and each and every um, this uh, politician is corrupt, but most of the people who are there because they are not able to stop it. So if they are not able to stop it, that means they have some kind of favorable uh, aspect in it. So that's why these people, they are in the, they are the shackles in the path of progress of these poor people. The women of Ferozabad, what they consider, they consider it their fate and they, they just follow the tradition. They say that our forefathers and their forefathers were doing this very kind of business and it's our fate that we have, we are born over here, so we have to do it. So they, they keep on doing it. So Mukesh is a main character. He's totally different from others he says no i want to give an, i'll grow up i want to be a motor mechanic and i want to drive a car he has his own own uh, ambition and inspirations he he just want to change his life a little so the theme in this very uh, both both the parts uh, is the grinding poverty and the tradition which condemn poor children to the life of exploitation so over here it's a grinding poverty where the, these people they, 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 they are grinded they, they they are not able to just raise up after this very thing because uh, they, they are not able to raise the children uh, who just go through this kind of uh, activities go for child labor they, when they grow up they are not able to raise them they are just they fell into these very deep pits of child labor so the two stories taken together depict the plight of street children forced into labor early in life and denied the opportunity of schooling so if if we are talking about that we should have literate in India we should have uh, shiksha everywhere then education everywhere literacy everywhere then definitely we need to take a step we have to come forward and do something for the benefit of the society uh, that was all in this very video. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much.